some people go their whole life without knowing who they mm. truly are. And I know I'm a Jean de Lewis Anderson. I was mm. born into sex. Mm. Like imagine every day, every someone's asking to see your 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 junk. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, like what? So you're a hermaphrodite, like Sierra mm. and Ting. You said yeah that you didn't know mm. that you were any different yeah. before the age of eleven. Yeah. What was the first eleven years like? Have you have you done things with men? Mm. So do we want to do we want to admit that I'm getting <laughs> Because of me being born with both genitalia, I was very, 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 very experimental with my body. As in, um, I like to play with myself a lot. She, I've had to admit that I basically masturbate on camera, bro. <laughs> Early in the morning. Early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and I'm with my boy. Introduce yourself, my guy. Jonte Delois Anderson. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Tell him what's your Insta? What's your, what's your Instagram? What's your, what's your YouTube? My Instagram's at R O S H A A N T E, and if you didn't hear that, that's at R O S H A A N T E. Rajonte, boom, and my uh, YouTube's Rajonte Anderson. Make sure you make sure you hit that up. I'm obviously, obviously I'm going to put that in the description below. But basically. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, we're just winging this. We literally, we literally set the camera up right in front of us and yeah. we're literally not even planned nothing. We're just gonna go straight into it because we wanna make sure that we get the lighting as well. So, yeah. just a bit of backstory, just a bit of context here. I met Rashante last month. Yeah, last month. Last yeah. month? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So this is early and we're already connecting like boys, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We're connected, we've got a lot of similarities, you feel me? So yeah, if you haven't checked that out, we literally met, we did two videos last month with one of our, with one of our other friends, a little trio. Yep. I'm gonna put that in the description below as well. Make sure you check that out. Mm -hmm. But basically, if you don't know, my guy right here is the first ever intersex person that I've ever met. And we, it's funny because it's funny because when we, when I actually found that out, I was shocked on video. You know, you can, I, I might even put the, I might even put the reaction in there. The reaction, yeah. <laughs> I put a reaction, but bro, I was Cam's reaction was priceless. I was, bro. I was shocked, and it's, the thing is, it's not. It wasn't. It's not a bad thing at all. I'm. This is purely, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's purely intrigue, shocking, intrigue, enough. intrigue. And I'm. Yeah. A, I'm you, you know me. I'm very, very. I love to learn. I love mm. to find about more about people and different people's stories. Mm. So, Rashan, so the reason why I want to do this video with you today is because, I'm, as I said, I've never met anyone from your from the, with your journey before, <laughs> bro. You're very, you're a very, very unique and intriguing character, my bro. Look at this, look at this guy's tattoos. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's just a little bit tight. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Just show them off, bro. Show them off. Just show them off. Show them off. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't even see the chest last time, though. Bro, I got bare, fam. I got fucking tats. Don's are stripping out here, you know. Yeah. Fam, man, because we bros, blah, mm. be mad. But yeah, yeah you've seen this on the beach. Yeah, but no, for real. Um, yeah, so just a little bit about me. Yeah, so, tell, tell the people then, man. Uh, tell the people then, man. So basically, I was born with both genitalia. So I found this out when I was 11 years old because uh, nah. I had never seen a naked body before. So because I was a kid, I didn't know what men had or what women had. I just knew what I had. So I had no idea that there was anything different or anything, you know, wrong or, or just, you know, uh, fascinating or anything about me. Um, nobody ever treated me differently. Um, it was just cool um, and I was raised as a boy but at the same time um, I always had feelings of wanting to live as a girl mm. and the reason why I wanted to live as a girl is because I'm intersex and a lot of people just think about the genitals when they hear that word mm. explained to them mm. um, so the thing is um, in my mind, like it's crazy because up to this day, I will still sometimes want to be a woman, sometimes want to be a man. Mm. It's crazy, but I can't help it because not just the, um, the the physical aspect of it all, but it's the psychological aspect of it all. That's and mad. Hell yeah, fam. That's and, mad. Hell yeah, fam. <laughs> and <laughs> mentally, mad. yeah, it's crazy. And mentally, and 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 another thing it affects as well is what people don't think about is your sexuality mm. because it's like you know um i choose to live as a woman i'd want to be with a man i mm. choose to live as a man i'd want to be with a woman that's mm. just how my brain sees things you know mm. what i'm saying um i don't like to complicate things because ever since finding out about me being intersex mm. my life has been nothing but complication um confusion sorry it's mm. been very confusing as you lot can imagine mm. as cam can imagine 100%. um because i've got to now uh live in a society that is very ignorant very um judgmental as it is on mm. your everyday regular people people and mm. every regular person mm. and I've got a bus and make it in a real life being like this mm. so upon finding out about all of this mm. um because of my character and I'm very confident and I'm very like I don't care like, I could kind of like shift my mind to how I want it to think at whatever given moment so that's exactly what I did and since then it's been non-stop questions and fascination and people asking me this people asking me that people want to see me, this people want to see that mm -hmm. like imagine every day every someone's asking to see your 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 junk do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> 
It's crazy. <laughs> like, no, but it was cool for a bit, bro. <laughs> nah, cool, so cool. So it was I'm cool like, for a bit. I, I just laugh because the way you, you're drunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't, yeah. I, I don't, I, I need you to get monitored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did, I did. Hey, give it. Yeah. Oh. So like, so yeah. So with that whole side of things, it was mad because, you know, every man, like, if I, if, okay, can let me ask you a question, Go yeah. On. You as a man, yeah. Mm. You're a sexual being, yeah? We're all sexual beings, right? A big really. man with a sexual, high sex drive. With a, a, big, a big man with a high sex drive. Man. Boom. So, yeah, mm. girls, pretty girls, yeah, beautiful girls, all kind of girls, mm. I'm always asking, yeah, for, to, 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 to see your junk, mm. yeah? You're gonna be like, well, yeah, let's go, let's go, mm. on, within reason, innit? Because mm. obviously, you know, you ain't no slug out here, you, can, you, you got options. But, like, mm. at the same time, yeah, like, how would that make you feel? If someone, if someone kept constantly asking that? Hundreds of thousands of different girls every so. day. Like what you said, originally and or initially, mm. it's more of like a yeah, yeah, of course, you know, um, I'm happy, I'm happy to do it. But obviously, mm. over time, I'm starting to think, am I like, I don't know, am I, I think I start feeling a bit too different. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm starting bro. to feel too different. Like maybe I like what you know what it is. It depends what their intent is. Yeah. Because you see me, this the reason why I want you on this video is because I'm genuinely intrigued. I want to know mm, more. Mm, mm, is, it, is it is it coming is it coming from a place of this guy's a like this, this ain't my words or nothing. I'm just saying, is, is it like a, oh, like what is it? Like is he a yeah, monster? Yeah, yeah. Or like, is, it, what, is it like a different person? Or, yeah, is it, yeah, yeah. or is it like a wow? Like that's actually really, really fascinating. Like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Man's a human as well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, human yeah, being. Like so, mm. it depends what the intent is. But you know what? The, the novelty would wear off if someone's asking me that a million times. I get mm. a bit, I get a bit bored. I suppose, or a bit, or a bit like, I don't know though. But I suppose in, in the same breath, you're you're unique. Mm-hmm. You're very unique. And it makes sense, it, it does make sense. Yo, bird, shut up, man, we're <laughs> trying to do a video. So so you'd say after a while the novelty would wear off. Yeah, yeah and you yeah, start to yeah. feel like a like a almost like a science experiment. Y- y- yes, that's yeah. what, that's the words I'm looking for. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when yeah. I said, yeah I came that, that came out wrong when I said, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Science yeah. experiment. Science, right. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. That's what I meant. That's exactly how I felt after the first couple of years because mm, it's a long time as well, fam. Uh, fam, and, and that and it happens to up to this day. My my woman's Friends, close friends, our tightest friends, ask to see it all the time. Yeah, fam, every girl I've had, their their girls have asked to see it. So imagine that life. Now, mm. the average guy would think, yeah, oh, I wish I could live that life. Oh, that would be so sweet. But let me tell you, yeah, too much of anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too much of anything is mm. too much. Yeah. Mm. So for me, even water. Even water. <laughs> no, oh, I love water, water as well, man. Yeah, I feel I'm nice. dehydrated, yeah, bro. Yeah, if my lips are looking a bit chapped. I need some Fiji. <laughs> <laughs> in it. No, for real. Yeah. No, for real. Move my bottle, actually. Oh, I must have dashed it earlier. But listen, nah, nah. so that's mm. basically that when it comes down to, like, you know, the questions and the, mm. you know, now I can ask a question, I uh, can answer questions um, more accurately. Mm. Um, confidently. Because, confidently, because mm. now I understand it all. Whereas before, this word that was given to me, mm. you know, people used to be like, oh, like, what's so your uh, hermaphrodite, like Sierra mm. and and mm. Sierra, uh, that's not that's cap as well. Sierra's just a Sierra, just a, 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 a biological uh, woman. Yeah, like biological somehow, woman. because she's got this like at the time she had like a like a I don't know society's version of a masculine, masculine thing. Thing. What the hell, bro? She was there I with remember, that, I that shit. Rumor. I fully remember that rumor. Yeah, I know. That's, 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 that's <laughs> Fam, I was there googling it before I knew about me. Yes. So bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, you know, when um, the ultrasound was done and the testicles, the underside, the underside, the testicles were found. Mm. Big, 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 big shock. Big surprise to my family. The only people that knew were my mom and my dad. The rest of the family still know nothing. Mm. Well, they watch my videos now, so they know, but you know, they didn't know before. You said, yeah, that you didn't know Mm -hmm. that you were any different before the age of 11. Yeah. What was the first 11 years like? The first 11 years? What what, in mentality? Who did you think you were? Who did you think you were? What was was going on in your mind? I was just this really um, outgoing, talented, person I wanted to do everything and anything mm. you know everything and anything I had so much confidence to do whatever you wanted me to do whatever I was asked to do um, gender didn't even come to my mind um, do you know what I'm saying like um, so you didn't you didn't think you were specifically a boy specifically a girl what was what uh, do you think you know what that is such a serious question I've never been asked that I swear never been no asked that, that. No, that no you got a really deep mind I like that bro, bro, right, bro, come hey, on, bro. my bro's got a deep mind no, on, for real guy, for real on, you know I'm allowed to learn these things bro Jeez, you even caught me off guard you know um, do you know what yeah mm. wow <laughs> that's, a, that's on the spot still <laughs> yeah like do you know what I, mm. I felt I felt I felt like I felt, I felt like a he she mm. If I'm honest with you, bro, mm. I never ever felt like I was like 
like one of the boys because mm. I was always more than one of the boys. Mm. But I didn't understand that the reason why that was is because I was probably overcompensating. Mm. And then the girl side of me would come out when I wanted to get things. Mm. So it would be that, you know, that, that streak that women have in them to get what they was. That was me. So it was a, like, I used to use that effeminate side and mm. right up until into my adult life, I was still using that. But mm. for my first 11 years, before finding out about me being intersex, there was just, my life was, it, for me, my version of normal. Mm, of course, of course. Because you don't know no different. Didn't know no, no, no different. different. Since that day, I remember it like yesterday, fam. Since that day, m my whole life is just, in a good way, mm. up, flipped upside down, but it took mm. a lot for it to make sense. When they told you, mm. at the age of 11, which is young, that's young, young bro, that's yeah, young. Yeah, I know. What, what was the first thing that went through your head? Um, how am I going to have kids? In? Uh, yeah. that, you know what? <laughs> I, rate, I rate that man because I, I, well, it's a fear that a lot of us have man. I want to I, mm. I want to have kids as well yeah, you know what I'm saying I want, I want a family yeah of course of course. that's interesting so how am I going to have kids damn yeah. I, that's that's actually a really um, I think that's a really I actually think that's quite I think that's really selfless yeah. I think that's really you're thinking yeah because you you're, you're thinking how can I reproduce how can I have yeah. a family yeah you know all of them things there I was thinking I'm very futuristic like mm. you sorry sorry, my camera my camera just kind of died basically but um, the last question I asked was um, yeah so what happened from 11 onwards in terms of how you view yourself how you view the world mm -hmm. you know what what changed after that after, after your whole world got flipped upside down basically well, after my world got flipped upside down, I pretty much knew that I was going to be a fetish. I've, um, just in case any of you lot are wondering about these big bad boy words that I knew when I was young, it's because I've been very sexually educated for a long while, as in, um, because of, because of the fact that I'm intersex, and I'm not speaking on behalf of everyone that's mm -hmm. intersex, but because of me being born with both genitalia, I was very, 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 very experimental with my body, as in, um, I like to play with myself a lot. Um, not, I hadn't seen, I didn't know how to, I just got certain feelings, you know what I'm saying? That being too graphic, I got certain feelings in certain areas and I explored the hell out of them every day when I came home from school. <laughs> Bro, the same. I basically, I basically still, do that, still do that to this day. <laughs> Every day. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you know what? I'm, I've calmed down now. I've, 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 I'm all out, man. I'm all out of gas, bro. Like. <laughs> sorry, mum, by the way. Sorry. It, 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 it's sorry, mum. Trust me. Sorry, but my bodily but fluids are gone. We're all young and sexual, man. Sorry, <laughs> sorry mum. It's true. It's true. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad to your mum's. No, no, no. I'm apologising because she's because she. I've had to admit that I'll basically masturbate on camera, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, fam. It's me. <laughs> bad boy. Hey. <laughs> We would do it. Yeah, we do. So it's healthy. Yeah, yeah. It's healthy. Yeah, it is yeah, healthy. Yeah. It's healthy, man. Um, Come on. But that's basically mm -hmm. like what was going on with me. So um, yeah. So um, from the eight, from eleven and upwards, and how my life um, mm -hmm. kind of panned out. Um, yeah. So it was. It was. It was. I'm not gonna make everything seem like it was all roses, mm -hmm. um, even though it felt like it was at the time. Of course not. Of course not. It was. It was. It was. It was difficult because, um, like, in a way, like when you're seen as a fetish, um, you're. You all you don't feel like you're seen as a as a as a person mm. anymore. That's worthy of mm. actual love. Mm. So I was more like a trophy of that of that that weird trophy like that <sighs> like 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 oh my god he's intersex. But not only that he's also really attractive. He's and not only that his personality. Uh, and not only that his money. And not only that his uh, family. So we go on and on and on and on, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, mm. And another part of it all was that men really were mad and still are always have been very attracted to me. And they didn't realize that the reason why they were attracted to me was because of the the um, like I have a certain um, a certain level of uh, uh, a feminine. It's like a feminine quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. But but at the same time as that, it's, I also exert a lot of um, masculine, masculine energy. energy. Yeah, yeah. I hear so it still, I hear it. Yeah. So depending mm. on the day, depending on my mood, depending on what I feel like, who I feel like I am today, tomorrow, mm. whatever. Like you know, they would um, get attracted to me, mm. and and like. It's like, it's like, and then it's like, are you gay? But then it's like, ha, yeah, but then it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, are you yeah, gay? And, and then with yeah. girls, you know, girls are madly attracted to me because they love the fact that I would understand them like that and understand their Bro, body. Uh, oh my I'm not, God. I'm not going to lie to you, yeah. There's one one girl in particular. I ain't going to bait her out on camera, but when she um she watched, she watched, she watched our video the other day, yeah. and she was like, who the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, you, know, you know who you are. Uh, you know who you are. Wow. She, yeah, 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 you know yeah. who you are. She, she was, she was literally like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, yeah. she was like, "He's Bro. beautiful." Yeah, uh, oh, I, I'm, I'm, getting, sure I'm getting kind of jealous. I'm thinking. Am I not? <laughs> <laughs> my guy's no, handsome as hell, bro. Hey, what are you talking about? Peg me, Spen. Come, hey, come on, come uh, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For real. But then, so 
obviously we spoke um, on camera uh, in this in this video that I was talking about that we did together. Mm -hmm. We uh, we were talking about um, plastic surgery. Plastic surgery. So we're talking oh, about we're talking about plastic surgery now. What if you don't mind? What plastic sure. surgery have you had to? What's basically what surgical procedures have you had? Every single list of the Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get, let's get, hey, no, for real, yeah, no, you know, let's, us, get, us, us. let's get into this. Listen, because people think they're bad, Pond Road, you know, with a little stab wound, yeah. Man's, man, man's had 10 hours worth of surgery, and then after 10 hours worth of surgery, six months later, I got six hours worth. Right, so That's how nice. it goes is, yeah, it's a surgery called phalloplasty, and with phalloplasty, it's basically an enlargement of the penis, um, or it's like skin grafts, which then um, is sculpted into a penis. A penis. Mm. I really did want to keep saying junk, but it sounds so immature. So yeah, say, say, demonetize say, it if you I, want I, YouTube. No, I, sw I swear on my videos, I ain't even, I ain't even monetized yet. So yes, yeah, girl, keep swearing. Yeah, yeah but watch on your. What, what you're monetized? You're gonna be pissed. Penis is calm. Penis yeah, is penis calm. is calm. Yeah, mm. penis is calm. What are we talking about? About penis again, fam? Um, fellow, uh, what's it called? Phalloplasty. Yeah, 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 so with phalloplasty, yeah, so yeah, so you you, you get you get to basically sculpt the exactly how you want it yeah so i got um my surgery done by dr nim christopher one of the best surgeons in the big world up, big up my man big up nim christopher you have blessed me and a lot of girls with a long hard good time Gee. yeah i'm just saying <laughs> hey no for real dizzy. yeah blood like i've got to say how it is <laughs> but no honestly world. but no cap no cap but yeah um yeah so you got you got stage one and stage one is basically where they um either take a skin graft so they could take a skin graft from your leg they could take a skin graft from your arm literally mm. and sculpt this penis they use your arm in your arm or your leg mad I know it's mad I had my cheeks chopped off while I was awake with the burning smell of the skin are you dumb and then the reason why they did that is because I needed to use that use that skin oh there God. to put it on my arm where I took the skin graft from to sculpt over my penis which I then decided not to even sculpt over my penis I said I want two penises God so now damn. I'm gonna... <laughs> God damn. that's that stage one God damn. <laughs> God that, damn, that's you think you've heard it all? You ain't heard nothing. We ain't even started, you know. We ain't even started. That's stage one they did that, yeah? So at stage one, I didn't have no penis head, though. There was no gland sculpting that was done. That's done at stage two. So at stage two, I had to have urethral lengthening, which is where they basically, um, they reroute the urethra, which is mm -hmm. where you pee from, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I was peeing from the old willy but the old willy isn't the same size as the bigger willy mm. so basically big the big things mm. yeah so they had to basically um go in through um my uh my bollocks basically uh chip chop chip chop cut cut boom bum slice and then they basically hooked up my urethra so that i now pee out of the bigger willy so that's stage two mm. of what they done and they also nice man with the gland sculpting so that i have a nice penis head and it looks just like my other penis head but my mm. other penis head is pink with a beauty spot Jeez. And the new one is just, just, it's just pretty. But it's you know, if you want to go on my YouTube and look at it, look at look what you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's actually he's actually got a video where actually it basically exposes it. I had to look, I had to look. Right? It's mad. It's who mad. gets a naked video on YouTube? Bro? Are you dumb? Bro, like, I, uh, don't, I don't know how that got, hasn't been taken down. Bro, don't, everyone don't get, says that, you know. Mad. I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. That's nuts. That's YouTube nuts. know the levels. I swear, mm, for real. But mm. but yeah, um, and then there's stage three. Stage three is basically where they. Um, it's like you can get a rod, so a rod like if you think of like a like a pliable type of like mm. bendy like it's not like as horrible as it sounds like it's it's literally just like it's like the muscle in a penis anyway yeah mm. but you can you can make it go down when you want or you can make it go up when you want so if you fancy a you know a quick bang but you know um like a rake, like a biological guy he might not be able to get hard enough mm. quick enough because the girl you might just not be turning him on mm. with me turn me on or not turn me on ping we're ready to go i can put it make it hard and then we can bang matting that's and, and that's and that's just one of the surgeries but basically i broke that <laughs> so because i broke it i had to get an inflatable now the inflatable is where you squeeze the balls and it gets hard <laughs> That is basically that's what a, it is. That's a mad thing. You squeeze the ball, thing goes up, and then to, and to be able to deflate it, you um, you literally just squeeze on the left ball sack, and you just squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and then you just mad. press it down, and then it's so mad. Yeah. So you can you can I I can um essentially go on and on and on for hours, even if. But what happens is the ball start to yeah. ache. Yeah, yeah, oh, they start okay. to ache. Yeah, yeah. Right, some ladies in the audience are gonna be kind of happy. Like, yeah, that <laughs> could go on. That could go on for a long yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's all my surgeries okay. I've had now to date. Now, yeah. Okay, so okay, okay. um, and I've got a surgery. Next year at St. Thomas's and Guys Hospital to have my testicles removed. Well, what's that? Why are you doing that? They give me too much pain, a lot of inflammation, um, okay, okay, and it okay. physically hurts. 
it, are you, is it like a substitute are you swapping it for something else or are you literally just no I'm just it? getting rid of so I'm, I'm going to have to be on um, synthetic testosterone which is a hormone mm-hmm. uh, which was called libido for the rest of my life libido yeah, yeah, no, 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 with an N, bro. Oh, Nibido? Yeah, so not, so not sex, like, Libido. Libido. Oh, Nibido, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> Nibido, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, that, I get that done every three months. It's an intramuscular injection, and that is what's going to keep me staying, living and breathing, and being a man. Damn, that's... But, 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 it doesn't mean that I don't get, you know, them feelings sometimes, mm. or, you know, like, I sometimes think what life could have been like as a woman, like, so it's really yeah, conflicting. Yeah, 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 I hear that, I hear that, actually. I, you know what you said at the start of the video? I never thought about... Everyone always thinks the physical. Mm, I didn't mm, think. Mm. I didn't think the, the psychological. I didn't mm, think the mental. Mm, mm, hundred. It's really interesting. Mental. But you said something. You obviously said that when you were eleven years old that one of the first things you one of the first thought that pops into your head is how am I gonna have kids? Yeah, bro. As at twenty five years old, you currently have a child. Yeah. Um, um, Myra at 20, 21, so I had to have IVF. To have a baby because I can't just lay down and have a baby naturally, unfortunately, and that was one of the things that come part and parcel. What's and IVF? IVF is um, so it's short for uh, uh, intro um, the something something fertility, basically. Okay. Uh, yeah, but basically, what you do is you got there. There's a place called London Woman, L- London's Woman's Clinic, uh, which is in Marley Bowl. And you go down there, they have a consultation and everything. They make sure that you know your eggs or your sperm is good. Mm. Um, you can back then when 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 I had IVF, you could actually get free IVF for donating your eggs or your sperm, um, like and because I couldn't afford it I'm not going to act like I'm big pimping I did not have the money mm-hmm. So I might have a good 10 kids out there You know But obviously I signed a consent form To say that I don't, don't want nothing No contact yeah, after 18 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, But luckily yeah Because of that I was able to have my daughter That's mad, and she, mad so, she, so she's she is you bro. Yeah, she's, so you got, that's all, she's, that's all you All me And that's the thing is you. Yeah yeah I, I ain't got to listen to no, no one on the phone Like yeah. you know you know, I ain't got any of that, that drama That mm-hmm. everybody else has got Like you know My baby girl's all me mm-hmm. And you know that's She actually amazing. looks like You know Like an uh, imprint of me mm-hmm. So it's just She acts just like me So it was all in God's plan 100% You see in, in, uh, people who are intersex mm-hmm. yeah? Do they also have They also have breasts Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you, okay, you can okay. have like breasts Like you know Like I've always Like even right now fam, yeah, this, is, this is This is titty meat fam. Yeah yeah You're saying to me honest. No, but no, but yours okay, is gym titty me. If I mind, is like no, boobage. No, but the thing is, I got gym titty. But if I squeeze, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's 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 fat to be honest. So that's that's, 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 that's male titties. That look, that's, that is that is two weeks in the gym gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. listen to camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but no, I've 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 still got the chest. Like, I wanted to mm. go um, into um, Andrew Yellen, um, who performed my surgery in the first place, because mm. you know, like, I've always had this size chest, and I think. It doesn't ever go. Mm. Like you have to keep on. I think like with like fillers and Botox, you have to keep mm. on going in and going in and going in and going in. Mm. So my chest is now back. So like you know, at the minute like this, t- this yeah, is actually right, my sure. chest. Like, yeah. like to people that might be like nothing, but for when I can squeeze yeah, it. Can, yeah, no, I hear that. I hear that. I feel you. So yeah, I just saw Titi Spawn cam, but at the end of the day, <sighs> it's like man, it's all about education out here. And, and this cam, by the way, not not, not that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for you people that I, that I got too much of the wrong idea. Yeah, no. So my boy is really open minded, and I love that, and mm. I love I love explaining my, uh, my my story. You know what I'm saying and. Mm. Is it, you know, any more questions you got for me? When you got older, yeah, so like 18, 19, 20, you know, mm-hmm. coming into your glowing up, you got, you're looking more and more sexy mm-hmm. every day. Mm-hmm. How, has it, how has it impacted your relationship with females? Do you, uh, have you had a relationship with men as well? Do you know what, yeah, men always want to have a relationship with me, but I haven't ever, like... Have you, have you done things with men? Mm. So do we want to do we want to admit that on camera? <laughs> or do we or do we do we edit that together? I can, I can edit that one. I can edit that. One. I can edit that one. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, I can I can be real and I can say one thing. Yeah, yeah go on. This is a mad. It's a mad question still. It's a mad question, but for somebody who has lived a mad life, mm. like you know what I mean, like. So to answer in short, yeah, because that because that question's so tricky. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a math question. Because I've okay, let, okay. Let me just say this, yeah. I've never had anything up my body, and I've never a man in his body. Oh, okay. Come on. But, 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 because of the such curiosities of, of not seeing, um, say, a full male body, um, because obviously I'd always just been sleeping with women, 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 women. They just mm. took over my world. Mm. Um, the only thing I'd seen is vaginas and breasts mm. and boobies, and I'm. I swear, oh God. God hold tight the monetization, but I've, that's all I saw is all of them things there, mm. innit, yeah? Um, so when I was about 18, 19, I did start wanting to see, like, what, because, like, when it comes to, like, my family household, we all cover up, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I, I've never, I never actually saw, you know, a penis, so, yeah. <laughs> balls, that, that isn't from someone that's intersex or myself, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But, do you know what? It's really confusing, Cam, because mm. I'm not saying that, like, 
I wouldn't. Mm. But then at the same time, like, why do I feel like I'm gay if I say that I would? Because I'm still nah, nah, a man and a woman. Yeah. It's, nah, I hear that. It's, it's for me. Yeah, very grey, very tricky area, bro. It's for me, bro. The, the thing is, I think you've got. It's almost beautiful in a way that you don't have to be compartmentalized. You don't. Yeah. So you, you, you don't, I like that word. You, compartmentalized. You, know you don't. You don't have to be put in any box. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if you I, literally, if you wanted to explore, experiment with males. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. No one can really. I mean, no, no one could have chat for man not, because at the end of the day, yeah. Not at all. If I went and I was I, and I went and I said, boom, I'm a woman now. Wig. Mm. My bad, guys. The the, cam, the cannon died again. The camera we're, back, camera bro. we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're <clears> back. <throat> All right. Cool. So we're talking about um, sexuality now. So yeah. obviously. Um, getting older um, and you know figuring out you know that you know if I did like guys you know why is it wrong because mm. I'm still hey, it's, um, not, it's not wrong anyway it's not wrong anyway even if you did like guys if normal people or if, n- n- yeah but my anyway, family my yeah, oh. my family yeah uh, Jamaican in it yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jamaican and Spanish it, it can be difficult like I've mentioned in one of my videos um, before that you know when I mentioned you know that exact thing that Cam just asked me to my mum my mum turned around and told me that she was having nightmares. Um, all kind of different things, so you know, it didn't really allow me to explore the way I wanted. Well, even, even though you're intersex, yeah, my mum just wants me with a woman because in her head she's got a kind of a man like mine where she just wants as normal as it can get. Yeah, in terms or of conventional, size. conventional, conventional. Yeah, yeah. We'll say, we'll say, yeah conventional. I'm all for. I don't mind if you're gay, lesbian, trans, yeah, intersex, course. queer. I don't care. Big up all of them. Big up all of them. But mm. my mum and dad are mm. stuck in their ways. Mm. Of course, of course. And of course. respectfully to them, that's their. They don't, I, I can't change their mind. Of course. So, but yeah, like um, sexually, sexually, it would have been nice to be able to. Um, you know, properly experience that because I feel like mm. I've been cut short. If I'm honest, mm. yeah. If, if we're talking about realness being here, real, that's real yeah? shit. If we're talking about being real, I feel like I really didn't get to explore that. Mm. So now I feel like women's all I know. Mm. I spend a lot of my days saying, "Oh, um, f women this, f women that," because maybe it comes from a place of jealousy mm. where I didn't get to be able to live fully as that as an adult, as a woman, mm. and. I could have potentially really liked it. I could have mm. found myself a man that I that really loved me because I'm not not being funny, but mm. it's not hard for me to find something that would really love me and look after me and pay loads of money man. for my Ooh, drive serious. me around in that Merc and all that. <laughs> now I'm saying, but like that's not all. That's just the materialistic mm. things. Mm. But basically, personality wise and my confidence and the way I love people, my energy, my spirit, mm. I could have got that. Mm. But I but I didn't. I got one more question for you then, bro. Yeah. You told me when, when, we, when we first met. You told me that your your parents they, yeah. ne- they never they never chose a gender for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what was it then that made you go down the route of being this this man that you are? You know, what I'm saying, or, or, or choosing this pathway rather than going that way and exploring in that. Obviously, being, it, a, being a woman, and yeah. obviously the same thing might have applied. But if you if you had chosen that path, you might have been envious of the other side as well. And not that's exactly. It's, it's, what Listen, made, you see, this man here, this man is a very intelligent man. I don't think you'll understand. You need to give ratings to <laughs> gangway, my boy, gangway, gangway cover, bro. Serious <laughs> things, because I say this all the time, mm. but I say it and exactly how you said it. Mm. Now, now that's now that's the interesting thing. So it's like for me. Um, mm-hmm. Say that again, fam. I need to hear that, bro. So like, hey, say it again. <laughs> no, because that so, was that was serious. so basically like why? Yeah. So what was it that that made you to choose the the path that you did? Because as we said, that if you had chosen the other path at the same time, you could always been regretting that you didn't go the other way. There's always going to be the what if, the what if. You know, what if I was a man? What if I was a woman? What if I like this? What if I like that? But you have chosen this path. How do we? Yeah. What, first of all, what was it that made you choose it or, or choose that path? And how do we then? How do we then stand by it? With, how do we then stand by it and not end up regretting and things like that? It's it's, it's a deep. Bro, it's let me mad. tell you, I live in everyday regret, but I get on with it because hundred. That's what made me blow on YouTube because I said that I regret this whole damn thing. But I it's but mad. but 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 you but you made a good point that if I was to live as a woman, I would have then always had that thing of yeah, 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 way yeah. to be a man. Mm. So it's never. I'm never going to be satisfied and then there'll always be someone that will be like well, why don't you live non-binary I don't want to be non-binary I just want to be happy and comfortable as one thing like like before but before I turned 11 you know the ones mm. that's all I want again but because I can't get it I just put up with what I can have and I utilise the f- out of it you get me bro you're a strong guy you know I can't lie you have to be very very strong to go through yeah, what, what, you've, what you've been through I mean I've, I've, I've got nothing but respect man because I've been people, people, the people that know my story they, they know certain traumas in it and I'm mm. I'm a damn strong guy bro but you're, 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 very, you're, strong, bro. You're, you're a very very strong guy to be to even, to even to say that you openly regret it but you yeah, know you yeah, have yeah. to 
Yeah, you bro, have to I regret it every day, fam. I regret it every day. I can't talk to my pe- my family about it because they don't even want to hear that. They don't want to hear anything about regret. My mum turned around to me three days ago when I actually tried to open up to her about it, and she said, "You made the best decision." <sighs> and it touched that's, my heart. That's horrible. That's hard to hear, man. It touched my heart because she said I made the best decision by living like this, yeah. But in my mind, I'm always like, "But is this really the best decision, though?" No? Mm. Hours worth of surgery now, that 10 hours worth of surgery, and that 6 hours worth of surgery, and that 5 hours worth of surgery, and I'm, I'm still due more surgery. Mm. Someone's, someone's belling you. So every single day, every day, there's not a day that goes by where I don't see a really attractive girl, mm. or I don't do a skit for my YouTube and I put on a wig and I don't think, damn, mm. I would beat that. But that person <laughs> that I'd beat is me. Mm. You know, I know I would, I, I, like, I could do this to myself, and, and this is where I, I mess myself up because mm. I could, if I l- allow myself to sit there, bro, mm. and think about what life could have been like, yeah, that would drive you crazy, man. It drives me crazy. Mm. It drives me crazy. I just gotta ignore it and get on with what I've chosen because I've gone through all this surgery. It's too late now to back up. Mm. Way That's too crazy. late. Yes, it's too far gone. I can't do anything. It's too far gone. Even if I wanted to be with a man, I couldn't mm. be with a man because there's no vagina, mm. and I'm not being funny. Like I can't take it. I wouldn't take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear that. I, I, hear I that. just, I just, I just couldn't. And it's mm. no disrespect to people that can. Oh, of course. Of course. I just can't. Mm. So it leaves me with no choice but to keep on always mm. wondering, wishing, hoping, regretting. Um, you know, triumphs, oh, empowerment, living, mm. re- real, everything like. I suppose, I suppose one thing that gives you purpose now is you, you, you've got a beautiful daughter, man. Mm. That, give, that, can, that can give you a real sense of purpose. And I said and that, that the other day, too. Like I said, I said if I didn't live, like, the, all this hadn't gone on, mm. I wouldn't have had that exact child. Mm. And that exact that child is that exact made for me. Child, that's that, your dad, your, her daddy, bro. Yeah, right? man, you know that is saying? my baby, like, I anything. Can't, for real, I can't wait to have kids, man. So I'm, yeah, I'm kind of jealous bro. of that, but I need, yeah, I, need, I, need, I, need to, I need to make it first, still. I need to make it first. Yeah, you will, fam, man. You'll have, and you'll get the most banging girl because you're a great guy, fam. My guy, man. Man, I can't lie, I need, some, I need some sweet one, bro. Yeah, no, I'll hook you up with this. Sweet, listen, I've got some sweet ones right now. Trust I can me, give you some uh, sweet ones, bro. Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. When I'm ready, bro. When I'm ready, yeah, I'll shout yeah, you yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy. Bro, but hey, that, I'm, that's, that is. We can, we can, we can conclude right there, man. I can't even lie. That that has actually blown my mind fully, oh, bro, fully. Bro. Like, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I'm, I was, bro, I'm, I, I was, I grew up in South East London. I grew up ignorant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, Andre, I, I respect people, that. Everyone knows me. I, I didn't. I, when I was young, I was homophobic. I respect that. Didn't, didn't respect women. Mm-hmm. When 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 things like transgender was coming, coming, I didn't get it. You know what I'm saying? Hundred, hundred. I'm, 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 I'm different. I fully, I yeah. fully grown. I'm, I'm fully, fully grown. And this, this bro, is mad. mad. Yeah, this is yeah, mad. Yeah, like, yeah. as in the fact that. I'm sat here chatting to you and trying to learn about <laughs> yeah, this. You're, learn, you're, yeah, you're yeah. teaching me, and I'm. Li- this is mad. Yeah, like, bro, yeah, yeah. This is mad. Seriously, yeah, it's absolutely fam. mad. Like, and I, I just love. I just love learning, man. I, I, I'm so grateful for you opening up like this. Cause not not many people would open up Anytime, in the detail bro, that you that, Yeah, you, you I'm saying like that. You say open chest. book. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah. Knowledge is power, mm. and 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 the thing is, like, fam, fam, I spe- this is gonna educate bare people, you know. Yeah, hundred, hundred, bro, and and it should, you know, mm. like that's why they won't have me on BBC News. That's why they won't have me on I, mm. like Good Morning Britain because the thing is, I'm not doing the whole sob story, yeah, all of that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. I'm saying this is the choice I made. It, mm. Whatever choice I made, it would have always been one that I would have still had a thought about something else, sexuality wise. You know, I can't go certain places. Is because things are now too far ahead. I'm not really mm. in that space anymore. But at the time, like before, it would have been good for me to have known. Mm. But some things are just left unknown. Some mm. things are left unsaid. Some things are a mystery. Life is one big um, place to explore, and you know, it's a place to learn. And some people go their whole life without knowing who mm. they truly are. And I know I'm a Jante de Lewis Anderson. I was mm. born intersex. I used to. I try and identify myself as transgendered because say that with chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With chest. With chest, man. Say cool, fam. Hundred. I used to, I, obviously I used to identify as transgender as well because of mm. the fact that um, transgender, it's like, it's like identifying as uh, like a lesbian when, mm. when, when you're actually um, bi, you know that, that there's a community that's going to accept you more, mm. whereas if you say you're bi, people are going to be like, oh, but so what, you're, you're greedy, so I say <laughs> I'm transgendered because if mm. I say intersex, people are going to be like, oh, you're just a cis, you're, cis, you're just a, a biological gendered guy, mm. or, or, or you're just this, you're just that, so to keep it short and sweet, that is what I am on paper. Mm. That's what my paperwork says. Mm. That's what I am. Mm. So, but yeah, man. Hey, right, big love, man. Big love. Big hey, love. listen. Tell them again what the, what the socials are, man. The socials at 
R O S H A A N T E, Rajante. Mm. You can check me out on my YouTube, Rajante Anderson, where you can see all the phalloplasty. I've got naked videos up there. You can see the real thing. It's a mad text. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, make sure you check him out, bro. Follow him on all the socials. Check out the social. Um, check out the top, um, his YouTube channel because he's coming back. He's bursting on the scene, by the way. We're literally all the yeah, content's man. gonna be coming. Coming. Um, Consistency's gonna be coming again, bro. Yep. Um, yeah. Camera got some vids for your head top. Yeah. Well, so. Just make, just make sure. <laughs> make sure you follow his. Yeah, hey, um, it's been your boy Cam. Yeah. And we out, man. We out.